Silly Belly goes to buy it several times during the month of July. His shiny new, that's the brand name, credit card is a zero dollar balance. A couple of comments here. One, the APR for the card is 23%. Is that unreasonable? No. Why? Let's see, you guys are college students. College students do anything for a free t-shirt. Typically not here, but at universities you'll see booths saying, sign up for a credit card to get a free t-shirt or a wristband that you'll never wear. And then in the fine print it says your APR is 29%. People do anything for a t-shirt. Notice he's coming in on day one with a zero dollar balance. If he had a previous balance, we would have to add that into this. Also notice he's only making purchases. So we'll be adding numbers together. If he were making payments, we'd have to subtract it. So it can go either way, but he's irresponsible, hence the name Silly Billy. All right, what we're first going to do is start off with the balance. So he starts with zero dollars, and then on July 1st, because he's got that credit card, he can't wait to bust it out, what's he do? He buys an HDTV. Smart move, Billy. So what's his current balance? Oh, thank you, 750.40. I got excited. Hopefully you got a nice TV. For 750.40, that's not a nice TV. It's not good enough. Bad, Billy, bad. And then, oh, look at this. He buys shoes for 180.76. Now, he didn't make any payments since July 1st, so what's his new balance? How do we find it? Add them together. So what is 750.40 plus 80, 180.76? 931.16? Thank you. And then on the 26th, he buys a cell phone for three fifty ninety nine. I would never pay that much today. Add that to the nine thirty one sixteen. I got twelve eighty two fifteen. And then he realizes for the entire month of July he has not brushed his teeth, so he buys floss for five eighty. That's a lot. Hopefully it's diamond crusted. That's twelve eighty seven ninety five. So he's not making any payments. These are the only purchases he's made with the card. So what this means is on July first, up to including July eleventh, the balance of seven fifty forty appeared on his statement. How many days are there from the 1st to the 11th? 11. 11. Okay. 11 days. Because you're including the 11th. And the 1st. And the 1st. Okay. But now on July 12th, his balance changed to 931.16. And that balance will stay the same from July 12th up to including July 25th. How many days are there from the 12th to the 25th, including the 25th? 13. And now the new balance of 1282.15 stays from the 26th to the 27th, including the 27th. How many days is that? 2, 26, 27. And here's the fun part. How many days are in July? 31. If you don't remember that, and you have knuckles, so January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December, anything that's on the knuckle is 31. From the 28th up to and including the 31st is how many days? Four. 28, 29, 30, 31. Yeah. If you add the days, it should equal the number of days in the cycle. Since it repeats on the first, this should add up to 31. If I give you November, it should add up to 30. Okay. So according to this part here, the value is calculated by adding the daily balances well. Adding the same number over and over again is multiplication. So we would be adding the number 750.40 11 times. So we can just say 
times 11 plus how many days did the 931.16 appear? 13. Plus, how about the balance of 1282.15? Two days, good. Plus, and lastly, the 1287.95, four days. So, the value is calculated by adding the daily balances over a period of time, that's what we just wrote, and divided by the number of days in that period. Well, how many days in this period of July? 31. So we're going to just divide by 31. This number we get is the average daily balance. Now, if you're going to do this in one fell swoop in your calculator, what should you put around the numerator? Parentheses. Otherwise, you're only going to divide the last number by 31. Now, before you hit enter, you want to be smart here. The smallest number on the list is 750. The largest number is 1287. If this is an average, it's got to be between here. If not, you did it wrong. So please, please, please be smart about the numbers. I got 93570. Did anyone else get that? I, I could be wrong. So that's the first part of it. That's the finding the average day balance. Now, to compute the finance charge, we go back to our friend I equals PRT. Our very first formula, when you guys were so young and adorable, Mm, memory. The reason we go back to this is because, remember, I equals PRT is for one cycle. We only have one cycle, one month going on here. You have to carefully use this formula. Why? It's the T that will get you. So, to use it, we're trying to find I. Our P is the average daily balance, the 935.70. The R is 23%, so that'd be 0.23. And here's the part that, that is very important. What does this A stand for? Annual. annual. So that's where we have to read very carefully. Since this is an annual rate, we need to multiply this by 1 12th. Why 1 12th? Yeah. So we're going to turn the annual rate into a monthly rate. So we're going to multiply it by 1 12th. So your T is 1 12th. So the comment I want to make is, one, I think it's getting colder in this class. And two <laughs> is, if I give you an annual rate, your T is 1 12th. If I give you a monthly rate, your T is 1, because it's already in terms of months. I got $17.93. Now, as far as the minimum amount due, here's the deal. His ending balance in July was the 1287.95. He was then charged 17.93 for finance charges. So his ending balance in July would be, including the finance charge, would be the 1287.95 plus the 17.93. What is that 1287.95 plus 17.93? Did you get 1305.88? Thank you. For what he did, yeah. It could have been better, though. We could have brought that down, and I'll talk about that. In order to figure out the minimum amount due, it really depends from bank to bank. Years ago, it used to be 1% to 2% of your total amount was computed, and that's how they got the minimum amount due. The government since changed that between 2 to 4%. It caused a huge uproar because now they're forcing you to pay more. But why did they do that? Because it was a very good thing. 
why it's forcing you to pay more per month. Pay it down quicker. Get you out of debt faster. So yeah, you have to pay more. But did he need any of these things except for the floss? No. People make bad choices all the time. I don't do that. So yeah, depending on the bank, they would then multiply this by 2 to 4%, and that's how much he would have to pay minimum.